Welcome to the Arcade Saga. My name is Ilkian Wiersma and uh, also known as uh, EJ. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is uh, a Pragmapedium, the only one that I have to, uh, to be honest, uh, because I do like them. But as you can see, if they uh, grow uh, a bit bigger, they, ha they can have quite a lot of leaves and thereby they do take up quite some space. And uh, like I said, I do like them, but not that much. So to, I don't want to want to have too many of these plants uh, uh, because I like the other ones just a little bit better. But yeah, I think with a nice orchid collection, you at least need uh, need one uh, Pragmapedium. So uh, so I'm very happy with this one. It's doing very well. It's quite a, a large plant, uh, I think we can say. It's doing, um, like I said, very, very well. It's growing well and thereby it's also starting to drink up the reservoir uh, within, within a few days. So that's uh, the main reason for this repot. And I think some of the new growths are really uh, getting uh, to the side of the pot. So that would be, uh, would be also uh, nice to give it a little bit more room. And it has several leaves. You see the lighter color leaves. Uh, new growths, uh, I should say. Yes, it has several uh, leaves as well, but uh, new growths. So we uh, this this plant is uh, trying to get bigger, and uh, that's what I like. I like to grow uh, quite some specimen size uh, plants. So anyhow, I thought it would be uh, maybe a, a video of interest. So therefore, uh, I'm going to do this uh, on camera. But first of all, yeah, we need to try uh, to get it out. I have some options to put it up in but yeah like i said first we needed to uh, we need to take it out and the leaves are uh, sort of everywhere i know try not to uh, break them but yeah they uh, they can get these brown tips on them not all of them but then we have these these browning spots on them that's a little bit uh, a, a thing that i do not really like on, about them but it happens because i uh, bounce into them etc let's have a look on this camera so we can have a bit of an idea that uh, this one is really really has uh, filled up this pot with roots it's doing very well it's really loves the setup we even have some roots here coming out of the pot so yeah i'm afraid i'm going to need to sacrifice a few of those but i think it will be fine if we uh, have a look at the, the amount of roots we have i did put it up in syntic i can see in the small pommes so uh, this is because these are more terrestrial type uh, growing orchids. So they do not need much air around the roots. And uh, to create it in my pot, I like to use the smaller pumps. So thereby I don't have as much air in. So, but anyhow, here we go, you guys, to get it out. Um, just wanna have a quick look if I have fairly small new growths. I see the one there, but because I need to uh, <laughs> grab it somewhere. Well, first, let's squeeze the pot a little bit because this is one mess of, one clump of roots and media this is. I do get a little bit of movement. Yeah, needs to be done, but yeah. Like I mentioned before, it's not uh, something I really enjoy, but because I need to interfere with the roots. That's basically what I don't like to do at all, but yeah. Sometimes it's for the best, I think, I like to believe. Well, first attempt. Oh, it's not moving at all. <laughs> so I'm pulling a little bit. Oh yeah, I was afraid of this. Oh, this is really stuck in here. Let's try again. No, not yet. I need to squeeze a little bit harder, I, I think, to get some uh, room in there, some movement on that root section. But I love it, don't get me wrong, this is obviously uh, something we want when we grow orchids, these types of root systems. Yeah, it's a little bit of a pain if you need to repot them. It should be fine in the end. So yeah, this takes a little while. I apologize, but I don't want to rush it. Oh, it feels like nothing is moving. Um, just checking if the roots that did come out of the pot hold it, but no, that's not it. It's just 
massive root system. I'm going to turn it around a little bit. I had it. Ah, there's a new growth. Ah, okay. Another one. Very, just starting. So, need to keep my eyes on those. Don't want to break them off, of course. Um, hmm. Yeah, I have a feeling we might be here a while. <laughs> try my best but I don't want to rush it here we go again I see the some roots moving now if I do this so should think there is some room yes yes there it is there it is so yeah I did break a root off that was coming uh, out of underneath of the pot through a hole yeah this is just one it's like <laughs> the pot whoops like the pot is still around it it's just one clump of roots as you can see and this is syntic so the dark gray stuff here you see it's syntic and with the roots obviously but these roots are nice and firm so i don't want to mess with this too much um because it doesn't need it yeah this is beautiful like I said this is what we want of course and just this one just took off when I potted it up it's it really enjoyed the setup I uh, have it for a year or two now maybe it comes from Landsberg from one of the open uh, one of the open houses and uh, yeah just put it in this uh, self watering setup and it just like I said it took off it took off so that's beautiful now comes a <laughs> sort of next problem I have basically two options because we need another pot of course let me put this here let me grab the first option I just took out one of my arcs I think it was a Miltonia coming out of this pot and I really like these pots because they are not that high but they have a nice width to them so uh, yeah I was checking if I can show it on this camera let's uh, put my hand in there so you can see this is quite quite some room there actually this is the bucket it comes out if i put it in here you can see we have quite a lot of room there but what you also can see is this it's sticking out so with that root mm, um, no, 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 clump not mess uh, it probably is a little bit too high and i don't want to interfere too much with the root system so but i i have another option but i will check if this if i can make it work this one so I'm putting it in to see if it's really that high or not mm, yeah just just a little bit I don't know if you can see it on camera it's very hard to uh, bring this in screen let's try this camera yeah you can see it I like to put my hand on the edge of the new pot and where is my hand there it is and slide it to the arcade it straight and you can see if it's about the same level or not actually it's not bad but these growths are kind of climbing already so these these are even a bit higher so no don't think this is the best option let me grab another pot i did put it here just in case oops i'm sorry for the slapping noise <laughs> look at this this is also a beautiful bucket this is where it, it came out of and this is uh, quite a size up <laughs> more than one size obviously but it can take it the system works the same so uh, it's it's self watering again of semi hydroponics should say but here is a lot of more room as we can see so yeah it is it's going to be this one um, so this is a water meter that I did have left and this is quite quite tall as you can see so it's easy for me to see the uh, level of the water uh, uh, the reservoir i'm sorry let's take it out move this pot because i can use the room that i can create on my table <laughs> and this one should have already a water meter in there and that i could reuse maybe it's but it's stuck in here yeah, just above my hand you can see that white black spot over there that's the water meter yeah i'm not gonna i'm not gonna try i'm gonna sacrifice one for the sake of the health of the orchid what is this 
uh, just something, a bit of sheet, I think. So it's not a pest. I always try to see, to uh, have a look at what is happening if I'm uh, working with my orchids and when I'm watering. So you never know, of course. And uh, what I do know is that I don't have enough pumice in this uh, bucket. So I'm going to uh, grab a uh, bit of new one and I will be uh, right back. <laughs> okay. Luckily I had quite some left. Oops, there we go. <laughs> With beautiful uh, pumice. This is the bigger pumice. Um, because I need so much, I don't have enough small pumice. So what I will do, I will put a layer of the bigger pumice in this uh, bucket first and then I will fill it up with some smaller pumice as well. But I think the big pumice will be fine, especially when it's down here because there's not much air and a little bit of air is not, not a problem for these guys. But they, like I said earlier, they don't need much air. So, but yeah, it saves me a little bit because these uh, bags are bigger, way bigger. There's a, a, quite a, a bit more in, inside of those bags when I buy them. So, than in the smaller ones. So that's why I'm choosing the big ones. Plus, I'm, I'm running out now. I had quite some uh, in, in stock, so to speak. <laughs> but uh, because of the fail uh, repots that I recently did, all did go, basically all of them did go in these buckets. So yeah, you can, uh, can imagine that I needed quite some pumice. Luckily, I can, uh, can buy it fairly easily in a local uh, uh, garden center and it's not that expensive. So uh, yeah, I'm happy to do that because it's a good sign when you need to put them up, of course. Anyhow, um, yeah. Yeah, I think this is it. So let's start this uh, up potting. Um, yeah, I'm, I have a feeling that it's all over the place because that's, the plant is quite big. That's why, but I like to use this pot that came out of just to have a bit of an idea how much, how big of a layer I need in the pot first. That saves me from keeping and lifting the plant up and down because like we just saw uh, or at least I mentioned it, I have this teeny tiny new growth. So I like to leave it there and use just that, uh, that old pot from as measurements. Like I said, so just to see which level I need to put a pumice in. So that's a little tip there. Maybe you do it already, but that saves you a lot of uh, hustle around with, with plants and especially when they have quite a size to them. Just use your old pot. Put it in there. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting there. Just a little bit. Oh yeah, and I forget because I also did mention that the, this one is a little bit of a climber. Uh, yeah, you see, I did forget about it just for a second. getting a little bit of that media out so I like to uh, put this one a little bit lower because then the new growth can easily more easily uh, reach the media no, it's not bad it's not climbing uh, quite heavily but still while we're working with this we can uh, adjust it a little bit Okay, let's move this pot because there is still water in there and I'm going to probably knock it over. Um, you can come here. So, okay, here we go, here we go. <laughs> and I want to put it in the middle of the pot because it has new growth in all uh, kind of directions actually. So uh, that's why I want to put it in the middle. So it can uh, grow in all those directions. It has uh, equal room to grow, that's what I should say. I see some old leaves that are trying to get in the pot and I don't want that obviously because this, they are rotting off. So no rotting material is there in the pot. If we can avoid it. So there we go. Let's have a look. Are you in the middle? Yes, you are. So let's uh, put some media in. That was the media I just 
took out and back in. Uh, I don't want to mix it with this, obviously, because this is fresh and new. You never know, even though it's growing very well. But if it has some sort of disease, I try to uh, avoid spreading it as much as I can. So here we go. Let's do a first layer of the bigger pumice. That should be fine. And then I will put in some smaller pumice. See, I need to be here if... Oh, I'm still in frame. <laughs> no problem there, but yeah. I don't want to turn this around too much because then I will damage even more leaves. You can see some brown tips. It happens with movement. It really don't, doesn't like it, I believe. But uh, yeah, sometimes it happens. And let's grab some small pumice. I need to put it over here. No more room. <laughs> no more room. On the table. That is. And just gently putting in the media. Really taking my time. And have a look at the plant. Yeah, because here. Actually, is one growth that's a bit close to the edge of the pot. Maybe I can lean it over a little bit more. Yes, there we go. Try not to uh, need to repot it in the next coming two years at least, I'm hoping. So I need to have a close eye on where the new growths are. Not too close to the edge of the pot. <laughs> Otherwise it will not take long and we will be here again. With this one. Yeah. And do some damage on the leaf. leaves. Sadly, but yeah. I cannot avoid it. It's just too big. <laughs> Oops. I think this one will be happy because all the roots really was pot bound. So uh, a little bit more space. Should work. Better. Let's uh, put a little bit more of that small pumps here. There we go. And no, no more Cintiq. There was a lot of Cintiq still in the pot. So I don't need it. I just was testing it out. And it does well with Cintiq, but you don't, I don't think you really need it. But they do like it. That's, that's true. And my Miltoniops as well. So they like to start the roots in the Cintiq. Or it's, it's basically an inorganic media, uh, inorganic moss. <laughs> inorganic media, yes. But they really enjoy uh, starting the roots in the in the Cintiq. So, especially when they do not have uh, much roots, I would suggest use a little bit of Cintiq. But with this one, this one has so many roots, we don't need it anymore. You can use it if you want to, but I don't want them too wet. And the Cintiq holds very a lot of uh, amount of water, just like the regular moss. So. It can, it can be too much and then you get the mold and on the bulbs or leaves and then you probably will start to rot them because it's just that much too wet. You need to find a nice balance and you will when you experience with them or you get experience with them. You can see and hopefully I can help a little bit with my videos of course. <laughs> I really hope I can. If you want to try the setup, of course. So, meanwhile, while I was chatting, um, I think I think it is sitting nicely in the pot. Just make some room so we can check it. I'm going to lift it and have a look. And turn it around. Yeah, my hand is in frame. There are some leaves. I hope you can see it. I'm going to show you this side as well. So you can have a better, better view. This is what I mentioned. 
you see now a little bit of small palmas there just to avoid too much air for this plant and that's that's basically it so what i'm going to do now is a uh, top layer of the black pebbles that i like to use well actually if they dry they're more gray but if they wet they are more more black i really like the look of it and it avoids a top dry layer that's the main reason why i use it and if you are like what is a top dry layer layer you are growing cell watering semi-hydroponic that should be wet yes that's true <laughs> but if uh, especially with the bigger pots the the um, highest part of the the pot about i think two centimeters wet let's try it on this camera i'm sorry this is a bit easier i think about this size at least may get uh, dry believe it or not and then that's what we refer to as a top dry layer because the, the evaporation of the water is quickly here more quicker than deeper inside of the pot and more air here around so it evaporates quicker and to uh, avoid that or, or yeah to slow that process down let's put it like that we uh, like to use uh, or at least i do a top layer of pebbles so the pebbles do not wick but they keep uh, the moisture better inside of the pot so that's uh, that's why i like to use it and i like the look of it so that's a top dry layer and sometimes i forget to mention things like this because i'm so used to it and i use the the descriptions of a top dry layer for example in uh, other videos but obviously i do get new subscribers probably some people who are fairly new to the system so i try to remember that i need to uh, to explain it uh, on occasion and i think that's a good habit to get into so i'm trying but nonetheless if i do forget something or you have another question please feel free to uh, leave it in the comment section below i'm very happy to answer uh, the questions to help you out where i can it might sometimes take a few days because that's that's because i then am uh, too busy with work but i will get to them as soon as i can our requests please please uh, feel free i really enjoy them but this is it. I'm going to take it to that camera just to be sure if we had a good vision of it. We can now see that it's quite a size if it's uh, a bit closer to the camera. But I love it. I absolutely love it. And I, I, don't get me wrong, I do love the prags. Absolutely. Or the slipper orchids in general. Because the shape of the blooms they are beautiful. But as you can see, they take up so much space. And I just like my Miltoniopsis, for example, a little bit more. And so that's why I stick with one. But who knows, who knows. But yeah, and this is just happens to be one that seems to be very happy uh, in my care. But uh, I did bloom it. Yes, I will uh, show a picture of the bloom because they are beautiful. It is actually sequential, so we do get more blooms out of one spike. But um, yeah, it's several new growths and I had basically i don't i don't want to complain but only one spike that was over here i thought i would have a few more because i had quite some new growths but i don't or i didn't who knows who knows maybe now because of the repot you never know this this is also a beautiful new growth here and we have one here and yeah there are several more so who knows what is going to happen we shall see later on in the year of course growing season or not that long actually this this well it's not mature enough who knows anyhow i uh, i hope you enjoyed this video uh, let me uh, get the outer pot to make it uh, complete of course it's a very big one as well of course we need uh, we need the room so um in a second i will give this a flush of our o water with some seaweed just to get it dust out there's not much but it is a little bit and there goes a pebble i believe we'll grab that uh, later on after the video but that's what i do i'm going to flush it create a reservoir again and then i will put it back on on the shelf it's living up there so i'm going to do that and then uh, we will have a look at it uh and so you have a general idea where i do grow this one so uh, let me do that and i will see you in a uh, in a bit <laughs> 
so yeah I just uh, just give it a good flush and <laughs> look at that here she is it does appear a bit darker uh, on camera I believe that's because of the lights in the back if the camera is adjusting it but it, it makes this uh, quite quite dark it does get quite some light because it's fairly close to the window and when I started uh, putting it more uh, closer to the window I at least get uh, did get one spike so I think I had it a little bit too dark and I kept it uh, over here don't try to make you dizzy but here are the other slipper orchids the Paphia pedalums and they are doing well as you can see they are blooming over there but the Pragmapidium uh, this one we just reported didn't do so well there so that's why I put it here but you can see it takes up quite some space and once again it's it's beautiful but can you imagine if I would have five or six of those yeah I know there are smaller ones but I like uh, like them fairly large to be uh, honest and especially when I started out to uh, give multiple uh, flower spikes the display is so beautiful absolutely beautiful so yeah there it is once again thank you so much for watching and of course if you have questions please uh, leave them in the comment section below uh, or suggestions or anything and uh, thank you for now for watching and I really 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 hope to see you at one of my next videos bye bye